ところ。another vlog if you're new here my name is Brittany welcome in welcome in and if you're also new here excuse my scarf y'all <laughs> if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit the red button below join the Brit Bays be in there like swimwear we would love to have you and if you've been down with me since day one welcome to a vlog baby today's Tuesday it's prime day happy July 16th I'm so sad y'all so Macy's upstairs sleeping still but everybody else my husband Mahari and Chima which is our two older girls plus my mother-in-law and my nephew they are all on a trip right now they are in tokyo right now i'll insert some pictures of them enjoying them their time in tokyo but yes you guys they are in tokyo the girls have been wanting to go to tokyo since i don't know forever like they've been talking about it and because they got straight A's all year, not semester, but all year, which I feel like is very hard to do. Like, especially nowadays, I feel like we need to give it up to our babies for getting straight A's, for getting good grades, because new math, new way of doing things, like it's not like how things used to be. And so the fact that they've kept up straight A's an entire eighth grade year, I'm like so proud of them. So because of that, their back to school trip before they start high school is tough. This video is pre-recorded, so of course by the time this video goes live, they will be back home. But I don't know, I just feel so sad and lonely because I'm like, it's so quiet and everyone's gone. I'm just so happy I'm able to bless my family with free travel. You guys know what my company, my family flies free so i'm just very blessed and happy to have my family take advantage of that and even if i can't always travel i'm happy that my family definitely can <laughs> and i'm just happy in general and i feel like i want to touch base on something because you guys have been saying britain you're glowing you're happy and i feel like two things are happening at the same time of course we moved into our home we bought our first home you know home decor is my thing so like that brings me joy of decorating and all that god has truly blessed us with our own home and home ownership so that has definitely contributed to me being happy but also i feel like god has showed me to trust in god to trust in him and let go because you know last year if y'all remember i was like struggling really really bad like i was just going through so much mentally physically like a lot of things with my health a lot of things mentally it was just a lot on me and during that time i felt like i was still trying to control everything i know i'm a big capricorn so i like to control my life and the more i try to control the more crap kept happening to me like i was like well well and so i remember you guys i literally stood back and was like this is you god this take over because i'm done like i'm done in my mind i'm finally trusting god into whatever happens i'm just going to be happy because honestly you can move to a new space and still be unhappy i feel like my happiness is coming from within hence me glowing versus like material things making me happy like don't get me wrong i'm happy because we have finally crossed over to home ownership and we're just in a new space but also mentally, I'm just like knowing in my mind or accepting in my mind, no matter what, God got me and it's all part of the plan and it's meant to be and I'm gonna be happy regardless because I can't stop what's happening. I can't control the future or the past. I can only control the present and right now I'm just gonna be happy. I just choose my happiness. So that's why I feel like most of my vlogs now are exerting my happiness because it's not like, oh, everything's perfect in my life, so I'm just happy. It's just like, no, I'm choosing to be happy because no matter what isn't perfect, 
I'm still gonna be happy. Yes, y'all, I still got a hole. <laughs> you know, that's just what I've peeped right now. And like I said, I'm so thankful for you guys. And I thank you for just commenting and keeping up with us and telling me and being happy for us. It just, it just makes me feel good. I go back to work tomorrow. So Macy and I are going to run to the stores. I gotta return something to Amazon. And then I have to go to TJ Maxx because I have been bitten by the Halloween bug. <laughs> I know it's too early is it too early? it might be too early but there is a couple of things that were going viral last year that i didn't get this year and i just want to peep in to see like you know i live right by tj maxx so like it's so hard not to go in there but y'all see our cabinets so i showed y'all the last vlog i purchased some pools let me get them so i purchased these pools from amazon let me show you I purchased these pools from Amazon. They're like the light gold knurled um, pools. But, and someone had commented, well, a few of you guys commented and said, you're supposed to measure from hole to hole and not handle to handle. Too late, too late. I already made a mistake. <laughs> and now I have to return these. So I have to go drop these off at UPS. The other ones are already on their way. I don't have a problem with stainless steel appliances and gold handles. I just don't, I don't know. Like gold and silver do not make a big deal to me. I think it's because I always think about the David Yerman bracelet that I want. That's like silver, gold. It's at the end of it, the gold ends. I love that bracelet, so I don't know why. Maybe that's why I never have a problem with gold and silver together, but stainless steel and stainless steel appliances and gold and black, and I just think that ties together. I don't think that looks bad. Like the gray, the gold, the black, and the stainless steel. I don't think that looks bad at all. You guys have to remember, I'm changing out our light fixtures, all these, not all the puck lights, but some of these puck lights are gonna get changed out with gold accents, so I'm just thinking ahead. For this vlog though, we are still gonna do the handles if they match. If I'm satisfied with them, we're gonna do the handles. We're gonna do our upstairs handles and like install the paper towel and toilet paper holders. I keep saying paper towel. We're gonna install the hand towel holders in the bathroom toilet paper holders. Oh my gosh. Get myself dressed and get us out the house so that we can get these errands ran for today. So I will see y'all come back on camera once we are dressed. We are at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. And then we're gonna go after this. We're gonna go to Walmart. Okay. Cause Macy wants a toy. It's so hot out here. That's cool. I'm gonna do this one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be the best pizza worker I ever have. <laughs> it's the tacos. Tacos. Ooh, tacos. That's not pizza, that's tacos. Yes, I want you to make oh. me some tacos. Okay, so what's your second toy? Um. So they're already starting with this, Halloween stuff. This pillow is so fluffy. And this pillow is so it cute. Pillow, mommy. Hmm? Pillow is so fluffy. Ooh. So fluffy. I want to go with an aesthetic vibe for Halloween. And this fits my aesthetic so much. But I don't know if I want all black. I kind of want it reverse. I want black ghosties with the tan on the outside. It's so cute though. The, the black ghosties don't even look that scary. They look cute. I know. So, the, yeah, they don't look scary. They look cute. 
Um, so also I wanted to come in here and look at the blankets because there's a specific blanket that I want that I have my eye on and oh I don't God, see it. It feels so soft. It feels so soft. Oh, yeah. no. this, this is, is none of these ghosts. No, it's not true. This is none of these ghosts. Hmm? Oh my god, all of these are so fluffy. I'm probably just gonna go to Home Goods to see if they have it because I don't see it so here. So cute! Okay, guys, we're back home, as y'all can see. <laughs> it goes thirsty. It's so hot out there. It's actually about to rain. Well, it says it's about to thunder. It's so hot out there, but it actually says it's going to thunder soon. It's only supposed to thunder between four and five, but Macy and I have plans to go to this event for her school. If you guys don't know, Macy is going into the first grade, but she's also going to a new school and they have like this event that's going on right now to meet the principal. I missed the first one because I was working, so I was hoping to catch this one. So hopefully it doesn't get like too bad outside. We could just go there real quick. It's only for an hour, so yeah. But I went to TJ Maxx, y'all. And I didn't really get anything, pretty much. Didn't really get a lot, but they didn't have what I was looking for, and that's okay because we're gonna go to Home Goods, or we're gonna go back to Home Goods, or at least maybe we'll go to a different TJ Maxx. My mind is thinking about how I want this place to look during like the fall, and I usually do like a Halloween type of vibe. I usually do like Halloween, so I want to go with like that dark color like that dark color scheme and then around christmas time i want to brighten it up last year for christmas i feel like i just kind of failed in a way because to me i mean don't get me wrong i did love my decor but it was neutral and i don't think i'll ever do like a neutral christmas it just brings out a neutral christmas just takes away the idea of like feeling like christmas in my opinion because everything just feels so bland so this year, I'm definitely going with the traditional uh, green and red, but it might be cranberry and hunter green, but I'm definitely going with that like color scheme this year. For fall, I really want to work with like deep browns, deep orange, like that burnt orange, that deep brown, um, that mocha brown color, a little bit of neutral, but also like black. I just want to work with like deep tones and like that deep purplish kind of color too anyways i'm not a long rant for nothing i don't know what else. i don't even know where i was whatever the only thing i found at tj maxx was this like beautiful um oil dispenser this was only 4.99 and i didn't get two of them because we honestly don't need it i don't cook with a lot of vinegar well at least like enough to be sitting in a bottle like we have rice vinegar and all that but I just feel like it's unnecessary. So I might as well just go with this. And you guys know I'm upgrading the handles to gold as well. So I figured this was cute to sit out here. I was gonna do like something like this. Let me put this more, like push it more over. Okay. I was gonna do something like this in this corner. And I think I like that look. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I was thinking about for that corner. Uh, something simple. I don't need like a whole bunch of stuff right there, but I thought that that was like really cute. And then when I get the new handles and stuff, that's going to look really good. So I got that from TJ Maxx, of course. And I'm still waiting for these cabinet pulls. And when they get here, I will show them to you. I don't see them there, but yeah. All right. The package has arrived. This is my book stand. Hopefully it looks good. This is pretty basic, but I'm not sure if it goes like this or not. Oh, see? No, it goes like this. Okay, are we seeing the wood on wood? I love that. And then we just put in the book. Ah, oh, hold on. Hey guys, it is Friday. I know I haven't been on here in a couple of days. I went back to work. I know I didn't film Wednesday because I, what, did I film Wednesday? I don't believe I filmed Wednesday because I was too busy at work. And then I don't even know if I filmed yesterday. I, I can't remember. I don't know. I feel like I haven't filmed in a couple of days. I was supposed to start work, but upon trying to log into my job, there was a message or some type of error with my computer showing a little blue screen. And I'm just like, oh, maybe my 
power went out or something internet restarted in the middle of the night no girl the whole system went down there's a whole global system outage so it is currently 102 right now i was supposed to be at work at nine my shift is halfway done i don't know what's going on i facetime my supervisor thinking this for my supervisor because she's very like open and like you know we have each other's numbers and i can contact her i can text her i can call her i facetimed her showed her my computer we tried to troubleshoot it it's not working so i don't know what else to do i was like work and i'm dressed and ready to go to work and well you know i work from home but i'm, I'm i was ready Flights have been canceled. Healthcare, I feel so bad. Like there's healthcare interruptions. There's 911 interruptions. It's just a mess. Some people are getting paid. I don't know. I, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm not no conspiracist, but when I be paying attention too, like I'm not done. So right now, I'm just gonna stay by my phone and stay by my computer, I guess, to see if there's an update. Um, I have Teams on my phone, so. I just, I don't know what else to do. I feel like everything just threw me off when I wasn't able to clock into work today. I just, I don't know, my mind's just frazzled, but I wanna pick up where we left off at and that was with the cabinet pulls and, oh, I got some Amazon um, packages, so let's go open that, I guess. Last time we came on here, I was like really frustrated just over these cabinet pulls because I was explaining to you guys that I do not like the silver like i don't mind the silver but i definitely want something more that sticks out although i don't mind the brushed nickel but i don't want to keep it i told you guys before we even bought the home don't necessarily want brushed nickel i kind of want something different so i've been back and forth about pulls to get i don't had so many returns at this point going back and forth um just like at this point I, i'm like i don't know what to do so i did recently order new cabinet pulls and i installed this side of the kitchen so i'm about to show you guys what it looks like and i'm still kind of hesitant i don't know but i'm just gonna show you so if you guys can see i don't know if you can tell but we're still waiting on a refrigerator but anyways i ended up installing these brushed brass i think they call i think they're brass gold handle pulls i finally found the right size i finally found the right size because this is three inches apart so i finally found the right size they're three inches apart the hole is and then this is like maybe five and a half inches long give or take but this is what they're looking like and I have not done this side yet, just done this side. So two things that I noticed about these cabinet pulls. I really do like them. I really, really actually like them. I think I like them because they're subtle in my opinion. They're not as in your face gold as the other ones were, like the other two that I purchased. And they are literally the same cabinet pulls as the ones we currently had, these. They like the same ones. I'm like, hold on, y'all. Let me find out these um, builders are getting their uh, stuff from Amazon. <laughs> but these are like heavy. So are the new ones that I purchased. They are also heavy. Like these are literally almost the same. Let me turn, turn the camera on. These are the ones that came with our home, the builder grade ones. These are the ones I ordered off of Amazon. almost the exact same they're just a little longer as you can see they're a little bit longer which i do love that they're longer i wanted longer pulls but the distance between the holes are still three inches so they fit perfectly and they're both really heavy i think the uh, brass gold ones are a little bit heavier like they're just they have a lot of weight to them and like i said i feel like it gives like a subtle look to the cabinets i don't see like bam in your face gold they're like a brushed bronze brass color i don't know it's just not like gold gold hold on i do have an amazon package to show you guys so hold on let me put y'all right here i ordered a few more things so okay 
So I ordered more cabinet lights. I told you guys in my other vlog, I showed you guys that I got my cabinet lights off of my home registry from one of you subscribers. One of my supporters sent me my cabinet lights, but I ended up ordering new ones because I don't have, I ended up ordering new ones because these ones, I should have double checked the ones that I put on my registry, but these ones have a demo, they're dimmable, but they have a, they have a tri switch. It's a two pack and they have a tri switch. So they can switch from soft light, soft white, clear white, and I don't know the other one, but I specifically wanted this. So I'm gonna turn it on. That's white light, that's um, daylight, and this is warm light. I wanted the lights to be warm underneath the cabinets because I think that I'm, I'm loving the warm light vibe versus like the whole bright white light under the cabinet. So, let me show y'all. Okay, so this is the warm light under the cabinet. This is the white light that I already had. This is the daylight, which is a mix between warm and bright. And then this is the warm lighting that I originally wanted. And then I think you can turn it up. So they have it to where it's very low. This is the medium one. And then this is the high where it's like bright, if y'all can see. Yes, I'm loving this look. This is exactly what I was going for. More of a warm light. So I'm gonna keep these underneath the cabinet. I am styling this whole cooking center right here. I thought I was gonna return this book um, holder, but I think I'm just going to keep it and try to work with it. Another option is to bring this over here instead of this oak piece. So I'm just trying to figure it out, but I'll come back to this once I turn the cabinet pulls over, but yeah, this is just a little cookbook corner that I'm looking into. Okay, so both of the lights are installed and I am obsessed. I don't know if I'm gonna get one for this cabinet just because my light candle warmer is always on. I might get one to go right here. Warm lighting has been slept on. I'm just obsessed and I'm loving it. Like you might not even need all of our puck lights on. <laughs> so far i don't have enough poles so i think i need one more pack let me see two four six eight nine so i only need nine more poles so that's one box because i think it's a box of ten but i did all of them i did those up there those right here right here and so i just need to do this whole side basically this whole side these right here and then I did have one left over, so I just switched out the single one. But then I have to do these three. But overall, I do love it. Because honestly, sometimes when I look, it doesn't even look like I changed them. Like, like right there, I can't tell if it's gold or like brushed nickel. It looks the same. So I think I did a right choice by picking out the golden champagne which to me, I thought golden champagne was a little bit brighter, but it's coming off really like a brushed gold. Like even this gold is lighter than this gold. So that is perfect. I love it. Um, I do not, I personally don't care about having my stainless steel appliances with the gold handles. I think it gives David Yerman, <laughs> y'all know I'm getting that bracelet 
I'm getting that bracelet. But I feel like it gives those vibes. I love it. I feel like it gives out. I also feel like it brings out more warmth around the house. I feel like it's going for that organic modern look that I'm trying to pull because I have like the gold handles over here. I'm gonna have the gold mirrors hung up over there. Like it's just gonna be a whole vibe. And so yeah, I love the switch. I cannot wait till I get more of my furniture in here. Once I get my bookcases, that'll also change the look in here to like that more organic modern feel. Definitely, definitely what I wanted. I'm going for a whole new look than I did when we were living at our old house. I love how subtle it is. Like it does not look like you cannot, you can't tell from here. Excuse the mess, like, but you can't tell from here whether it's gold or not. Like, can you tell? It looks, it looks like it's still freaking um brushed nickel, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know. But I have my um lights charging we do have like the usb on the side so my lights are charging i just want to give them a good charge so that i can use them tonight and um plug them back in yes i love how my little cooking corner came out it looks so cute i did fill her up with our olive oil so i just love that simple cute i don't want to add anything else i just think that it looks so cute and just like simple and if i want to add more I will, but this is just like the base of the homey feel. All right, I'm currently in the kids' bathroom and I'm about to install the bath, not the, the toilet. I'm about to install the toilet paper holders. And it did come with the set, so I do have another one of these. I need to bar for both of our bathrooms. I want one like over here and then here oh you're right here and right there mark it okay so it is installed i love the black matte sleep look it's tight in there y'all um, I just had to tediously screw this top screw with the Allen key. But other than that, it was simple, pretty easy. I'm glad I did it on my own. And then now we have toilet holders. And soon as I order everything else, it'll be replaced with black as well. Um, faucets the faucets and mirrors will also be replaced with black so y'all I hung it up by myself by myself it was a little tedious like this little screw right here let me show you this little screw right here is tedious because um unless I'm working hard <laughs> I have to like halfway screw it because it's against the wall it's flush against the wall so the allen key doesn't rotate 360 so I have to like uh, halfway like uh, 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 while holding this in place so that's the only tedious part but we got it figured out bam so now i'm just going to let me put y'all right here hopefully i don't fall in the toilet but um it's like the toilet's closed so anyways i have these these are actually washcloths they're not um hand towels but that's okay i am going to pick a few out uh i want to do this brown one because that matches the shower curtain and then i'm going to do this pink one because i already had it in here these are from pillow fort by the way and yeah i'm just going to fold them like so put one right here and then fold the other one do three is that what i did did i do three i don't know what i did and fold it like that so that i could be in bathroom this is so cute i can't wait to change the mirrors now change all of the handles and change yeah the mirrors i, I cannot wait i cannot wait okay it's about to storm it's super dark outside but 
I did install the bathroom um, towel holder. I might install a rack, um, but I like this look. I like the simpleness. Both of our hand towels are in there, so I think it matches perfectly with the black. Again, this bathroom will also have the black faucet, black handles. I also installed our black toilet handle as well. So the black trash can is matching and then the handle, so. All right, we're in the closet. Excuse me, y'all, my button is broke the top and it keeps on buttoning well it's not broke just the hole is just way bigger than the button now and so it just keeps on slipping out but we're in the closet right now because my other two amazon packages amazon is just gonna be the highlight of every video because i'm ordering from amazon like every day but i'm making up for a year of not ordering from amazon okay so this is part of my prime day sale that I've got for myself. I'll be checking stuff because I low key feel like stuff be returned and Amazon just be shipping it right back out. So I found these on Amazon. These are these little purse handbag holders. I have a few bags as y'all can tell. And um, I want to elevate them. I want to elevate them. And I wanted to. Oh my gosh, this is wrapped like it's... What is this? Why is it wrapped like that? <laughs> but anyway, this is what... Oh, it's pretty. Oh, okay, no wonder. She's like, go, go. Ooh, 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 okay. This is really nice. Okay. Period, period. Ooh, these are so... Oh, you can't get these in the store. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Stop. Okay. These are, I was joking when I thought this. Okay. These are adjustable. So you have this screw where you can lock it in place. Adjustable. What? I got two of these. How cute. Question is, which bag don't get <laughs> So you put it right here. Okay, so let's put this one on. Cause she really this de my Dior bag really needs to go on a hook. Ooh, I'm about to take the handles off because it's just messing it up. It's messing it up. How cute is that? How how cute is that? I need two more of them. I need two more. I need four more. I need six more. Cause I want to put the ones on top. I was gonna okay hold on so so I have two well I have one more and I'm probably gonna put two up here I'm probably gonna move this one up here because there's only two bags up there so I probably put two and then order like three more because I don't I don't think four would look right honestly or maybe I'll do two right here two right there I don't know but you guys how freaking cute is that how cute oh my gosh i love them i have another one in the box right here but oh i'm just obsessed with them they're so cute they're so elegant oh my gosh gorgeous gorgeous girls have handbag hold us okay so so gorgeous i'm obsessed let me go on amazon and order some more because these were like a deal and these were hard to find because i was looking for specific ones and these are perfect. So now that I know they're perfect, I'm going to order some more. Where's my phone? And yeah, love them. Hello, it is Saturday. The next day, probably the last day of the vlog. Macy yeah. is here. She got her nails done. We just had a mommy. We're having like a mommy and me. Show your nails. Ooh. I don't know if I can tell. Oh, can you tell? Oop, they're purple glittery. And then, you guys, she got a new book, of course. She got a new book. I don't know if you guys have ever seen... Macy, why is that so loud? <laughs> you guys, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, like, those donating book things that are, like, outside. So, we found one. And, of course, Macy got a book to add to our collection. And it's a purple book, of course. So, 
But right now we are at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if y'all can tell we're at Hobby Lobby. There's a couple things that I want to get. A um, couple things I want to do. So let's go in here and see what they got. Okay, we're in Hobby Lobby and y'all, I found what exactly what I was looking for. It's 40% off and I, they have all of this stuff 40% off, of course. All of the fall, 40% off. Of course, they have their Christmas trees coming. I don't need any Christmas trees, but they got that stuff coming. They're starting to put ornaments out. Oh my gosh, y'all. 40% off. I had to come to Hobby Lobby and get their stuff. And this one right here, it looks just like the Hearth and Hand one, literally. But it's literally the same price because it's 40% off. 40% um, off. 55.99 so you're gonna be paying the same just about as the hearth and hand one and you guys know hearth and hands going on sale soon or um the tar the one from target's going on sale soon so i don't know if i want something dark for our doors because we have a black door so i kind of want something that's gonna look more fallish but i just noticed that this is the style that i'm going for i'll tell y'all more when i get home but this is definitely what i was going for this year back from Hobby Lobby. I'm sitting on the floor right now. Don't worry, my couch will be here soon. But it just looks so beautiful outside, y'all. Like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's raining. It's like a gloomy day. Normally, I don't care for gloomy days, but oh, I just feel like this is so peaceful. Look at all the trees. Okay, so I tried to film as much as I could in Hobby Lobby, but y'all know. Sorry, rudely interrupted, but <laughs> we were in Hobby Lobby. And I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby because, you know, they're closed tomorrow and grab a couple of stuff. This is not going to be like a full fall haul because I'm actually going to start that in my next-ish vlog. Um, I'm trying to like start all my fall content in August. But I had to go to Hobby Lobby today and grab some stuff because they look so good. And I'm just like here for it all let me just show you what i got for macy's room real quick so i don't know if you guys remember but there is a space on macy's wall that's empty where i finished the wallpaper and i'm like didn't know what to put there but i found something that looks perfect again it was 50 percent off and i just think this looks gorgeous like it's dreamy it goes perfect with her decor it was 14.99 but 50 percent off so i spent like 750 on it just about and I didn't want something too big or too small, so I'm just gonna hang it. And I think it's gonna look so freaking cute. I think the flowers are gonna mix well with the wallpaper in the back, so. Yeah, this is how it looks, and I love the glass. I love that it's like see-through or whatever, but whatever. Um, that's what I got for her room. That's the only thing I got for her because that was like the last little piece that I need. To cover that wall now for the home stuff so i just want to say for this fall i'm going for a following organic modern look i don't even know if that makes sense i am not full-blown halloween and i'm not full-blown fall you know i don't like the sweet and spice everything's nice type of fall and i don't like the orange and purple halloween either so so for this year i'm going to decorate the home with a lot of halloween pieces but they're not like your average halloween pieces they're going to be like organic modern kind of that makes sense just think of Pottery Barn Halloween plus Magnolia Table, if that makes sense. So the first thing I got was this pumpkin. So freaking cute. Chef's Kiss, beautiful. I love it. It was $11.99, but it was, I think, 40 or 50% off the fall decor. Exactly what I needed. It's going to go so good with, like, my bookcases in here. It's going to go so good with the type of decor that I am looking to do. Next, I grabbed some florals. So I went with these beautiful like baby breaths type of flowers. Um, they were $5.99 and they were also 40% off. I grabbed two of them because they remind me of baby breaths, but they're actually a little like nudish tan color. And I just love how they look. I think they go so perfect with the theme and oh my gosh I, I just love it i love it so 
I grabbed these two. Okay, this last thing I got was the main reason why I rushed to Hobby Lobby because I was on their website last night and I saw this garland and I fell in love because it goes perfect with my vision. So this is what I picked up. I picked up this beautiful dark, like it's like dark plum purpley six foot garland. It was originally $22.99 but this was, I believe, 50% off or 40% off. I can't remember. I think it was 40% off. But the look that I'm going for, so this is what I'm going for this year for our fireplace. I just love the dark purple. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like a dark purple color with the white fireplace and then the candles. That's the type of vibe I'm going for. This gives me like Halloween, but not like all out Halloween, not all out fall. You get what I'm saying? Y'all probably can't even tell because it's dark in here, but oh my gosh, like the dark vibes. I'm probably gonna get another one because I honestly want it to be thicker. It's already thick, but oh my gosh. I want it to like fall. Oh, it's gonna look so good against the white. Oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's gonna look so good against this white. I am so excited to decorate for fall this year. So yeah, that's all I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm super excited. I'm not doing like a full blown like fall haul yet, but I am gonna go to Home Goods because I will be going to Home Goods because I have already saved so many TikToks that I've been seeing because I have been watching and waiting for all this stuff to come out and i cannot wait to take you guys so that's gonna be coming up soon i didn't want to make this vlog like a full fall vlog but i wanted to share with you guys some items that i could not resist going to hobby lobby and getting so super excited we got the piece hung up so dreamy it is so dreamy let me give y'all a closer look so freaking dreamy i am obsessed and then I think I might do like one more picture frame or something. I don't know. Um, I'll think about it. Like once it crosses my mind like, and I see it, I'm going to get it. Just like this piece, I was like not even, I didn't know what I was looking for exactly. This just spoke to me. So I want to get like a vintage piece somewhere. Maybe I'll go to a thrift store or something. But I want that right here. And that'll be like the last of her wall i'm just obsessed everything is just coming out exactly how i wanted it and it's perfect all right guys this is the last thing i wanted to share with you guys before we end the vlog i posted these on my communities tabs and youtube but i got some pillowcases from macy's bed you guys were saying she needs decorative pillows i agree um i'm not gonna do a blanket but i definitely agree on the pillowcases so i ended up ordering from this company not sponsored or anything i just saw the pillowcase it was my prime deal a lot of the things that i featured in this video from amazon are from the prime deals but it's from this company double stitch and i ordered one well i ordered three pillowcases total but I only ordered one from double stitch so look at the pillowcase this is the this is the pillowcase y'all like are you joking are you joking like are you freaking joking oh my gosh like who oh my gosh it is a tufted it's a, every stitch counts it is so beautiful it's non-toxic beautiful freaking pillowcase like oh my gosh it's a non-toxic double stitch pillowcase oh my gosh look at their little the details it says the details omg i'm about to freaking post them i love i am all about packaging do you see this is a pillowcase does this look like a pillowcase how it's packaged it is gorgeous oh my god 10 10 10 10 10 across the board i don't even want to open it i'm gonna take so many pictures before i open it oh my gosh how cute oh my gosh my camera has three minutes left what's going on hold on sorry i forgot to delete some footage but we're good now um look how beautiful like i said get into the packaging i don't even want to open this because it just looks so gorgeous i want to open it. it is so freaking cute hold on you guys stop 
look how gorgeous this pillow is <sighs> look how gorgeous look how gorgeous it is it's a 20 by 20. i didn't see 18 by 18 because i would have got 18 by 18. i usually order small little pillowcases and larger pillows but i did not see 18 by 18. i think this only comes in 20 by 20. so yeah but she's gorgeous when i say double stitch thick beautiful I mean, look at the details. Perfect with her room, literally perfect. It just matches perfectly with her room, her decor, her theme. Just kiss. Let me do the other one. And I ordered two more. It's not from the same company, but I figured I ordered these because um, I just like the look of these two. These are 18 by 18. So these are the pillowcases that I ordered same thing like linen type material I'm, I'm I'm becoming a linen girl like I want everything linen in my house but these are brown stitch boho um pillowcases I got two of them 18 by 18 so <sighs> I have to wash all this but I want to see how it looks on the bed because I can't wait let me let me just see how it looks so these are the pillows that I got from Amazon I usually get my pillows from Amazon I can't think of the name. I think they're like major. I can't. I can't remember the name, but I believe they begin. They begin with an M. If you guys search up pillows on Amazon, eighteen by eighteen or twenty by twenty. It's the pillow company that has like the most reviews. Like they have like fifty thousand. I don't know reviews on the pillow. These I love. I had these for three years, like two three years. I'm not. I'm not joking. Like all we do is wash them. Mm, they smell so good. Like all you do is wash them, and they're so fluffy still so i always order my pillows off of amazon because like i love changing up pillows like oh my gosh this pillowcase is gorgeous she's so gorgeous like who oh my gosh now i'm about to like really go on their site and see what else they have girl sis you been holding out it's almost perfect okay so yeah she definitely needs to be filled in more so i'm gonna order 24 by 24. i normally don't order the bigger ones oh my gosh like how okay but these are um but these are 18 by 18 so the pillows should look better in these because they are 18 by 18. A little bit better a little bit better <laughs> it's already coming together my vision for macy's room like it i didn't want like super matchy matchy like i just wanted like straight up boho like vintagey looking vibe i don't know how to explain it but i just wanted straight up like boho type stuff and the inspo pictures that i was showing you guys it like the decor matched but it, it didn't like matchy matchy I wanted her room to just be like, just not too matchy matchy. Color scheme, yes, but not like matchy matchy. And so the pillows just brought it out for me. The pillows just brought it out for me. Everything is coming together how I want. <laughs> OMG, I'm in love. Uh, okay, let me stop singing, cause I don't even, let me stop. <laughs> But y'all, I'm gagged. I'm gagged because this is exactly what I wanted. Like everything, oh, everything's coming together like exactly how I wanted it to. It just looks so dreamy in here. Oh my gosh. Are y'all seeing this? This is exactly what I wanted. Ew, girls. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I am obsessed. So I gotta bend down because my camera's low. But I am gonna order 24 by 24 and a few more 20 by 20s. They come in a two pack, so that's great. So I'm gonna order more pillows because these will do for now, but I wanna like plump them up more. So I will be ordering um, 24 by 24 and another 20 by 20. But I'm obsessed, y'all. Now I might add a blanket. Like having a blanket is not a bad idea. I just didn't know if it was necessary because Macy don't even care about like having a blanket on her bed necessarily. But the pillows, y'all. The room, the pillows, everything just looks so cute. 
it looks like a Pinterest board if I have to say so much. But yeah, y'all, that's it for the vlog. Stay tuned for more because we are about to get into back to school season. We're about to get into fall season. So rapidly about to get this downstairs ready and together with furniture. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you're following me on social media on my Instagram and TikTok because since back to school is starting, I will be starting the whole routine TikToks. I know a lot of you guys like like my um TikToks and stuff where I get ready or like mom content or whatever. It's a lot, so trust me, I don't do it all the time, but when I do do it, I like creating that type of content for y'all. So, so make sure you're following me on all platforms. If you're not on social media, then definitely make sure you're subscribed to my channel on YouTube so you don't miss out. Thank you all for tuning into my vlog. I love you all and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.